Welcome back students. In this video, I am going to work out for you all one of the very important and gunshot questions which is repeatedly asked for the part of the scales of the course engineering graphics. The question is like this an area of 49 square centimeter on a map. The area of 49 square centimeter on a map as it is on a map it is said to be a area of the drawing I mean the length of the drawing as per the RF represents an area of 16 meter square on a field. The field is nothing but the actual, the field is all about the actual, it is all about 16 meter square. But whereas we are going to represent a 49 square centimeter on a map of this 16 meter square which is actual. So, as per the definition of representation factor, we know that representation factor is given as the linear quantities, the ratio of the linear quantity, it is all about the area. So, what is the actual dear students? The actual area is 16 meter square, the actual area is 16 meter square, but the area which we are going to plot on the drawing is 49 square centimeter or centimeter square it is square centimeter or centimeter square and it is also given in the problem draw a scale long enough to measure 8 meter you are supposed to work out the long enough is nothing but the maximum distance dear students. So, the maximum distance is given that is 8 meter and the mark a distance of 6.5 6 meter 5 decimeter and 7.2 meter. Before going to know which type of scale it is, let us work out the RF, I have written here 69 by 49 by 16. As it is of in areas, the quantities, we need to make it into linear. So, we are supposed to make under root, whenever area comes, you are supposed to make this a root and if it is a volume, the problem, we are supposed to work out the cube, the root. It is because we need to change these quantities into linear quantities. Now, it is all about 7 centimeter divided by 4 meter, is not it dear students? But whereas they are not into the similar ratio units, we need to convert them into the similar units. So, 7 centimeter divided by 4 into 100 meter centimeter. So, this is all about 7 by 400 is said to be the RF of the given scale. So, when it is given in area, this will be in power of square. So, in order to make into linear, we are supposed to make it into under root of both the quantities to convert into the linear quantities and to work out converting into the similar units. Later, I told you to work out the maximum distance. So, what is the maximum distance or the long enough to measure distance of this scale or the area is 8 meter. It is given as 8 meter here dear students. So, once the RF is known and once the maximum distance is known, we can find and work out the length of the scale which we need to plot in the drawing in order to construct the scale. So, it is given as RF into the maximum distance, the length of the scale is given as the RF into the maximum distance. We know that RF is 7 by 400 and the maximum distance is 8 meter, but where we are supposed to work with the scale which is of centimeter or millimeter, we need to convert it into centimeter. So, it is all about 8 meter to 800 centimeters. So, it is found out to be 14 centimeter upon calculation dear students. Please do work out in the calculator and do not forget to carry your calculator even to the course engineering graphics examination. Later, we are supposed to work out what are the different units based and depending on the units we are going to identify it belongs to what type of scale. If you look here it is it's long enough to measure 8 meter is given and certain units are missing here. So, what we are supposed to do is we are supposed to go with the marking distance as the units are not given direct. We are able to work out the units from the marking distance and identify it belongs to what type of scale. If you look at the marking distance here this is 6 meter. 1 is 6 meter and 5 decimeter, the other one is 7.2 meter, the other one is 7.2 meter. These are the two marking distance given dear students. From this you can write that the units are said to be meters and a decimeter. The relation between these two units and these two are said to be the consecutive units which I explained in the earlier video and related to the units uh, the sheet 
or the post it was posted on the, the channel please go through it and learn all the units of measurement. Now, if you look here 1 meter equal to 10 decimeter in a similar manner one marking distance is given direct like 6 meter and 5 decimeter the other marking distance is given 7.2 meter. So, I can plot this as 7 meter plus 0 0.2 meter finally, I can trace this as 7 meter and 2 decimeter as I know that 1 meter equals to 10 decimeters. Please do be clear with all the units of measurements and the conversions dear students. The one unit is given directly measuring distance is 6 meter 5 decimeter, the other is given in fractions like 7.2 meter, it is being represented as 7 meter and 0 0.2 meter. So, 7 meter is as it is and 0 0.2 meter is converted to 2 decimeter, it need to be multiplied with 10. This is all about the construction, I mean the working process, I mean the calculation part which you are supposed to work out before going to construct. Now, as you know that as you are following my lectures, you could able to understand now what is the next step. As the next step is that we need to construct the scale, for that we need to focus on the length of the scale that is nothing but 14 centimeter. Now, taking your scale and you are supposed to work out the 14 centimeter. I am doing a rough sketch for you all here to work out very fast and explain you more number of problems. It takes time for me to work out with the instruments exact measurements. I hope you can understand my way of and, uh, explaining for you all. So, this is said to be a 14 centimeter on your drawing sheet you are supposed to work out let this be A and let this be B. And as it need to give a look of the scale as I told to work out 10 millimeter of width to draw a rectangle box to show it as a plane scale. So, dear students by looking at the two consecutive units or the one unit and it can measure only up to the two consecutive units the scale is said to be a plane scale. I forgot to write here I am sorry for that. The scale is said to be a plane scale which is not mentioned in the problem by looking at the marking distance we can state that the scale can measure only up to 2 units that two of 2 consecutive units. So, it is said to be a plane scale. Now, once it is done with the 14 centimeter and 10 millimeter width we are supposed to look at the maximum distance the long enough to measure is of 8 meter. So, we are supposed to represent on this 14 centimeter line a 8 meter the maximum distance. So, how you can divide this is divide this 14 centimeter line into 8 equal divisions either you can go directly with the scale or division of a line method dear students I hope you know how to work out division of a line. So, divide this rectangle box into 8 equal divisions now I am going to do with free hand 1 I mean this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 is not that. So, as I told that all the time the first unit the first box need to be left for the second unit I mean that is set to be 0 and this is 1 meter and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, 0 to right I mean including this box this is nothing but 8 meters. So, 0 to right is said to be a meter scale I hope you are very clear with this. And 0 to left we have one more box which we left for to mark out the, the sec unit that is all about the decimeter as 1 meter equal to 10 decimeters. So, we need to plot 10 decimeters in this scale please do go with the division of line method or if it is exact division please do concentrate on the part and work out with the scale. So, we are supposed to work out 10 divisions within this box 1 meter it is said to be a decimeter. So, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, this is a meter scale from 0 to B and from 0 to A left is said to be a decimeter scale dear students. And do not forget to write RF exactly center of the scale failing which certain marks will be deducted in your examination. You are supposed to write down whether it is uh, uh, the enlarged scale I mean depending on the RF they will be knowing that you need to identify that whether it is a full size scale or enlarging scale or the reducing scale. Now, let us look at we are supposed to give a look of the scale I am going to draw parallel lines to the A B exactly middle of the scale. So, that it gives me a look of the scale. The scale need to be drawn only in HB pencil and the lettering and numbering to be done in HB pencil and the remaining all general construction need to be worked out with 2 H or H pencil dear students. Make sure that your handwriting as well as the lettering and numbering to be so neat to get out of outmark and even the construction process too. 
Now let us look at the marking distance it is all about the 6 meter and 5 decimeter. If you have gone through the earlier 2 videos which I have posted this will be very easy for you all to mark. So, the 6 meter is along this 6 meter and it is all about 5 decimeter the decimeter scale is this. So, this is all about 5 decimeter. Now, drop a parallel line to the scale and this is said to be a dimension line and do focus on exactly center of the line writing in bold very neatly in HB pencil 5 meter and so I mean 6 meter and 5 decimeter. This is the marking distance of this plane scale. The other distance is also given that is all about 7.2 meter this is about 7 meter and 2 decimeter and 7 along this meter scale and 2 along this scale that is all about decimeter you need to drop a perpendicular to it very straight line and maintain some distance from one unit to the other unit. So, that that gives your impression and look and neat handwriting on your drawing sheet and this is all about the 7.2 meter as it is given 7.2 in the question you need to represent it in a similar manner as it is given 6 meter 5 decimeter you need to represent it in a similar manner. This is how you are supposed to focus on the part of scales and the scales question is one of the gunshot question which you are going to get in this exam for sure for all the branches of engineering. Hope you are going to like my videos as well as share this content with your friends. Hoping to see you all a better performance in your examination. Good luck and God bless you all. Thank you.